Oh, man. I tell you what, Halloween is on the way in, and today we are going to start off our little Halloween section with <laughs> the werewolf. Don't go anywhere. You don't want to miss this. <laughs> Previously on the Nerdy Ronin Network. Hey, Squeaky. I was thinking maybe we should uh, discuss that show, uh, The Old Man. We should review it. No, I'm not talking about videos of myself. God. <laughs> Happy Monday! That's right. The weekend is over. The work week has begun. And we're just a little over a week. Well, we're less than a week? I don't know. A few days away from Halloween. <laughs> and I was going to review Black Adam, but I decided to save my money. I just don't have the interest in that movie. Even though I enjoyed the the Shazam movie and this is supposed to be a sequel of some form to it, I decided I'd just save my money. It's it I just don't have the interest to go sit in the theater, pay theater prices to watch that movie. I, I'm sorry. So we're going to start off our Halloween season, if you will, our Halloween week, where we talk about some scary stuff, I guess, horror movies, <laughs> which are totally not my jam. Hey, like and subscribe if you haven't already. Thank you for being here. Always glad to have you. In the description down below are some things that we love. Nobody pays us. We just love it. And we thought you might as well. So we've got some links down there. So let's talk about our first scary movie, if you will. We're going to go back to 1956. <laughs> the Werewolf. Hour and 19 minutes. Now, let me just tell you. This is not the Wolfman, per se. And generally speaking, when you have a movie about a werewolf or the wolf man or what have you he's been bitten by a wolf or bitten by something and now when the full moon comes out he turns into a werewolf <laughs> that's not what happens here <laughs> first things first black and white old quite enjoyable for what it is it's just a simple movie I will I'll start out with a little bit of trivia, though. Fred F. Sears, who directed this movie, passed away suddenly in 1957 at the young age of 44 of a heart attack. So his last five movies, one, which this is one of them, were released after he died. So there's your little piece of trivia. I, I, I got to say... It's an enjoyable movie, but let's get into what happens, okay? A guy has a car wreck as he's going through this town, bumps his head. The cops take him to the local doctor's office. <laughs> and instead of taking care of him and sending him on his way, <laughs> they shoot him up with some serum. <laughs> some apocalyptic thought process here that makes it where he turns into a werewolf. <laughs> Like, not all the time. Just like the normal werewolf story. Sometimes he's a man, but if he gets angry or hurt or whatever, he turns into a werewolf. So, already different. But it also causes him to not, to lose his memory. He Now he's wandering around. And he comes, the movie starts, he comes into a different town, close to that other one. And he doesn't know who he is. Has no idea where he comes from. What he's doing there. Etc. And he gets robbed. <laughs> and he... <laughs> he kills the guy. Rips his throat out. And the town thinks, Oh, it's an animal attack. <laughs> and it just goes from there. Look, this is not some in-depth 
uh, fantastic. This is old school scary movie, and it it was unique in the fact that it showed him change into the werewolf. Like one shot, theoretically one shot. Obviously, uh, there's a there's a different person playing the werewolf, actually, and well. Actually, I don't know. I could be lying about that. <laughs> I, I don't remember. I, never mind. Forget that I said that because I could be lying. But uh, the the if it's the same guy, he does a great job of playing two different roles there. Uh, he's a completely different person as the werewolf. But the camera shows his face change from human form to werewolf. Huge special effects. For 1950s, <laughs> it's <laughs> look. This is by far not scary. There's nothing about this is scary. It's not. Uh, they call it a horror movie. I, do, I disagree. Maybe in the 50s this was scary, but it was just more overacting and. Uh, <laughs> But hey, guess what, Mom? You can watch this. There's absolutely no language, no nudity, no sex, none of that stuff. And there's uh, there's some chocolate sauce blood dripped on snow a couple places. But other than that, there's just all the violence takes place basically off camera. And it, it's a fun watch. I'm not going to lie. Like, it was worth watching. If you want to watch... Just a, an old school scary movie or, or sci-fi horror, however you want to describe it. Uh, there's absolutely nothing wrong with this movie. You know, it, it is what it is. And if you like, like, old school universal monster movies, this, I would say this is kind of along those lines. Um, uh, not going to tell you how it ends. I'd hate to spoil this new movie for you. <laughs> you know what I'm saying. Unfortunately, you can't run out to the theater and watch this. But, uh, it's fun. It was fun to watch. I enjoyed it. It was, wasn't my jam. But, hey, it's Halloween, yo. <laughs> so there you have it, you guys. That's my Monday review, starting off the scary season here. I, if you're looking for something, a palate cleanser, just to, this would be it. It's just good old black and white storytelling at its finest, back in the day when they just churned out movies left and right. <laughs> so there you have it, you guys. I, I hope you watch this. If you do... Let me know in the comments down below. I'm, I'm curious what you think of it. it it's not bad. I, I didn't hate it. <laughs> From Michael the Microphone, Bob Squeaky Chair. And this big fat nerd. <laughs> we will see you on Wednesday. <laughs>